is going to be interesting. On his way to the ring, the Olympian, the Bob Sledder himself, Mr. World Class Shipman. And on two occasions, he represented the United States in that Winter Olympics. Nagano, Japan, Lillehammer, Norway. And you see there pointing to the Olympic rings tattooed onto his forearm. Ooh, kind of an attitude on the part of Chip Mitt, Mr. Really? World Class, as he makes his way to the ring. A man that proudly represented the United States of America in two Olympics is going to go head up with... The real Mr. USA, back in the ring wars, the hacksaw, Jim Duggan. And you make a great point from the standpoint of someone that represented the Olympics against someone who has always represented the United States of America with the two by four in hand and old glory, hacksaw Jim Duggan. You can sense the reaction from the crowd on hand here at the Worldwide Arena, how thrilled they are to have Jim Duggan back in action, back competitively again with World Championship Wrestling after his battle with cancer. Absolutely. Any opponent that steps between those ropes into the squared circle, the best they can hope to be is the second toughest opponent Jim Duggan has ever faced down. He beats a big C. Oh, man. You know how loud that is in the headphones when he's screaming in the camera mic. Never fails to get a great response from the crowds at World Championship Wrestling events. Much like we're witnessing here, you can sense the support for Hacksaw Jim Duggan against the former Olympian Chip Minton. And you know that attitude that we've noticed the last several outings for Chip Minton seems to not necessarily be reflective of, of a former Olympian, Scott. Certainly not. I don't think uh, the IOC is very thrilled with how Chip Minton has been deporting himself in WCW rings of late. He's been deported. He has been? No, I'm asking you. Oh, I have no idea. I think he's a, a native, isn't he? Born on these shores from Macon, Georgia. If memory serves. Ah, a neighbor of yours. Absolutely. 90 miles up the road. Oh, hang on! The heck's out with a 2 by 4 Get out of the way, Nick Patrick, the referee. Powering in the corner, I don't blame it. Well, Nick Patrick was the middle man at that point. Chip Minton was the one that was cowering in the corner. And the chant of USA here in the Worldwide Arena, that is definite. And very ironic when you think of Chip Minton's background. Really? Are we at war with the bobsled guys? Axel Duggan and Chip Minton. And just look at Duggan. What an intimidator just stomping around the ring and Minton takes a break through the rope. Yeah, just look at Minton. What a coward. A uh, cheap shot artist. Forearm across the upper back of Duggan. That's not going to have a lot of impact on a back that side. Minton. Ooh, that will. Shoulder block. Into the midsection. Sets Duggan up. A reversal by the hacksaw. Minton hard in. Hip toss. Coming out by Jim Duggan. Oh, big clothesline. Power moves from Minton with little effect. And hacksaw comes out with lariats of blazing. Oh, and Minton. I don't blame him there at all. Takes a break on the outside. Hacksaw Jim Duggan standing tall on Worldwide. Probably smart strategy on the part of Minton. Pull out to the floor while he flexes for the crowd. He also stops the momentum. The offensive assault of Hacksaw Duggan. Well, it only takes one look at Jim Minton to see the man is in tremendous physical condition. Especially the development in his leg. That's really the key. He uses that bobsled background. His legs so well developed, and you'll see so many of his offensive moves, if he's ever able to put any on Duggan, will come from his leg strength. The atomic drop into the rope, capped off with a back elbow, and one more time, Mr. World Class is on the outside. A oh, single leg trip brings Duggan to the ringside area. Shoulder blocks onto the ring apron. Side headlock now by Mitten. No! Oh! Mitten hit the pole. That's one way to counter a shoulder block. Send your opponent's shoulder first into the steel. Tosses Mitten back into the ring, but Duggan committed himself. Did not make a very wise decision by a veteran, but he's able to reverse him into the ropes. Here we go. Big spinning slam coming up in the center of the ring. Compliments of Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And oh. keep in mind that Mitten weighs 265 pounds. Duggan picked him up with ease and out of the three-point stance. Whoa, what a clothesline. What impact. There it is. The old glory knee drop, and Jim Duggan back to his winning ways over Chipman here on Worldwide. Wow, amount of offense, 
from Chip Minton in this matchup. Next to nothing. Next to nothing is right. It was all Jim Duggan. It was a wire-to-wire, bell-to-bell win for Hacksaw Jim, totally dominating the Olympian. Tell you what, I want to take another look at this one. Hacksaw Duggan, it was so long that he was away from the ring. Let's give the man his due. One more time, we'll take a look at a replay here on Worldwide of that man. Your winner, the Hacksaw Jim Duggan. It's going to be our 1-800-Collect replay. 1-800-Collect. It's the easy way to say. Take it back, Mike. Well, he certainly deserves another look. We see Duggan reverse the momentum here on Minton, sending him into the turnbuckle, able to take him out of the corner, and follows up with that knee drop that he calls old glory for the victory. For Mike today, I'm Scott Hudson. Send it back to Tony and Larry in the booth. All right, Scott, Mike, thanks a lot. This Sunday, the Great American Bash, literally the crossroads for World Championship Wrestling. Will the Macho Man win the world title? Can he win the world title from Kevin Nash, the world heavyweight champion? What about Ric Flair and Roddy Piper? Once again, we've talked about it earlier. One man is going to be in control of WCW at the end of this Sunday. Well, you know, the power is up for grabs, but you asked an interesting question. Can Savage beat Kevin Nash? Kevin Nash, very confident man, very big man. But Macho Man has been around a while. Very experienced and now extremely emotionally irate. Randy Savage, Tony, can beat Kevin Nash. For the living legend, Larry Zabisco, I'm Tony Schiavone. We'll see you this Sunday at the Great American Bash and back here next week on WCW Worldwide Wrestling.